Okay, so this is my first calculus video. Everything else up to this point was just kind of a review of algebra and trigonometry and stuff like that and uh, pre-calculus. And so now I want to get into calculus and I'm not going to sort of just go section by section because um, although I respect the textbook that I'm using and I think the authors are great, I sort of have my own way that I want to present it. So I'm just sort of going to go through it in the way that I feel that it should be presented and that's what I'm going to do. So to start off, the question, the central question we're going to sort of deal with in the beginning here of calculus is how to find the slope of a, slope of a curved line. So let's start out Okay, so let's say I say uh, y equals um, 2.3x plus 4.7. Okay, there's my graph. Let's make it uh, 1.43 there. Good. So there I got my straight line. And anybody who's, who's gotten to this point knows that the slope of this line is... 1.43, but you probably also know that the slope uh, slope is change in change in y over change in x. Okay, so let's um, let's find a point right there, and you're probably not going to be able to see it on your equation on your uh, on your screen, but I'll I'll do my best. And so I've got a y coordinate. It's not staying up there, that's fine. Here I got a y coordinate that is um, negative, that's 2.51031. Let me write that down because it's going to go away on me in a second. <clears throat> 2.51031. And then I've got a x coordinate of negative 1.53125. And then I click on some other random point here. And this has a y coordinate of 1.01328. And it's got an x coordinate of negative 2.57812. And so then if I do uh, y1, 2.51031. Y2, which is 1.01328, and I divide that by X1, which is negative 1.53125, uh, and then I subtract negative uh, 2.57812, it gives me 1.43. There's my slope right there, 1.43. So change in y over change in x gives you the slope of a line. Okay, so let's extend that. What, what we're going to be doing in calculus is we're going to be extending that to curved lines. So let's start with uh, just a real... Uh, let's do this one, x squared, uh, let's just do y equals x squared. Start it off real simple. So I want to figure out what the slope of this line is. And so I can find, I can sort of approximate the slope at a point. And the way that I'm going to approximate the slope at a point is right now that line is curved. But if I zoom in, once I zoom in, that gets to be just really, really, really straight. Okay? So now I'm at the point 1, 1. So I'm going to say I've got 1 comma 1 is one of my points. And then I'm going to move over here.
And up here you can't see, this is the point. I am now on the point, 1.00011 comma 1.00022. So then, if I do my, uh, if I just do what I did before, 1.00011, you're going to be able to get there before I can type it out, minus 1, uh, that should be 2, change in Y, change in Y, divided by, change in X, and it's two. So what that's saying is that basically the slope of this line at this point is really really close to two and we're gonna say that it actually is two. And so then I can sort of go out, I can zoom out and I can find another point, I can look at that and I can go, gosh, you know what, I bet you anything, I don't even need to calculate that. That looks really close to zero, so the slope at zero is zero, the slope at one is two. Then if I go out to, let's uh, just do, um, 1.6 so let's go to let's go to 2.5 let's go to 2.5 okay let's zoom in on that point creep over like that sorry I went too far okay let's zoom in boom 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 so I've got the point 2.5 comma 6.25 and then if I move off it just by a little bit I'm gonna get 2 point I want to move a little bit further off 2.5025 comma 6.26 and then if I go up here, six point two six two five one minus six point two five. Divided by Uh, 2.5025 minus 2.5 and I'm gonna get something really close to 5 so the slope at x equals 0 Okay, the slope at x equals 0 is 0, the slope at x equals 1 is 2, the slope at 2.5 is going to be approximately 5, and I wonder if that means that the slope of this parabola is always 2 times the x value. And so one of the things we're going to be doing in a, the next series of videos is sort of proving that we can determine that the slope of this line is equal to two times the x value. That's where we're going to start and we're going to move on. I'm going to move on to pencil and paper in the next video.